for me, being creative is bringing my sort of passion and love for what I see around me out into something physical, so in clothing and garments. I work with volume, with draping, um, which, is, which is a silhouette that you don't normally see on menswear right now. Um, yeah, it's something different, it's something refreshing, I believe. There's a lot of potential to push um, the conventions that stand right now for menswear. My mum was into fashion at my age, um, loved fashion. My interest kind of developed for it at the age of eight. From there, it just kept growing, the passion kept growing, um, the interest kept developing. When I was in college, and we had to sort of choose what we were going to study, textiles came into the picture straight away. And then went into sixth form, done art and design, took a fashion design pathway, and then applied for fashion design degree. So it was all very consistent from, from the age of eight years old. The Soft Armour collection was my final major project, so in my final year we had to um, produce a collection of six outfits. Um, the, the inspiration from the collection came from my own experiences of love. I kind of went back to those experiences and drew upon the emotions and feelings um, of that relationship and I kind of wanted to uh, look into this idea of attacking the male ego um, and sort of looking at the male ego from the beginning of a relationship and how that ego is broken down during the process of that guy falling in love. Since then I've been um, working on my own projects, my own things and also developing my label and the sort of vision that I have for menswear. Women's wear I feel like is a bit crowded at the moment and this kind of idea of just draping and sort of creating garments from a concept and a, and a shape as opposed to just a, a ready formed pattern or block. I like the sort of contrast that my style has with menswear. You know, you see draping on women's wear on, on, the, on the female body, but it's not something that you see on menswear. So I really want to push this idea in, in that field. Rei Kawaga Kubo is the designer behind Comme des Garçons, which is a Japanese label. I admire her way of working and producing clothes. She goes around in her studio, she gives the uh, pattern cutters a word, and from that word they need to create a garment. So they literally just get onto the mannequin, get some fabric, and they just create from that word. And that's just a way of working that I really admire. Communication, I believe, is easy when you're believed in what you're doing. Uh, and anything that you step out into, if you totally believe and you're sold out for that, then communicating the idea, communicating your passion for it will be easy if you really believe in it in your heart. When you have a vision sort of of where you want to be and where you want to go, that keeps you focused. And when things do try and come in to pull your focus away, it's that, it's that vision of where I want to be that keeps me on the right path. So I think focus lines up with vision. My passion for my, for my work is what keeps me going because in everything times get hard and um, sometimes you feel like you want to quit and break down but it's the passion and the love that I have for designing and creating that keeps me pushing on and just keeping it, keeping it going, keep pressing.